Welcome back to Houston Life. It is a night of Asian star power at the 20th annual Houston Asian American Pacific Islander Film Festival, also known as Happy Fest. Now it's the longest running Asian film festival in the state of Texas, and it highlights the rich and diverse Asian American heritage in cinema. Joining us now with more on this year's lineup is Happy Fest director Tinga Nguyen, along with the director of the film, A Great Divide, Jean Shim. Welcome to you both. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, that's impressive, the fact that it's already the longest running film festival. It's the oldest one here in Texas. But aside from that, what else can you tell us uh, about it? Well, the festival uh, really just showcase, wants to showcase Asian American stories through the lens of Asian American artists, whether it's in front of the lens or in the back of behind the, the camera. And this year, we're showcasing over 100 films, ranging from short films to full features from narratives and documentaries. It's a really impressive number to really help artists get their uh, stories out there. And speaking of getting stories out there, Jean, you're the director of the film A Great Divide. Yes. This film is based on your life, is that right? Well, some experience of my life and many of the people I've known that I did research on during the time of right after the pandemic. When it comes to these local film festivals, how important are the festivals? Because for any viewer who's not attended, one of my favorite parts is that afterward there's typically a Q&A where you yeah. can talk to the filmmakers, talk to the cast. And this really, um, these days obviously film has has evolved over the decades, right? Mm. But these festivals really are important to you, Jean. Tell us why. Oh, absolutely. I would say the uh, the film festivals here and like in Oregon, we did our uh, premiere at Bentonville in Arkansas. I mean, these were my favorite festivals. It's not that I don't like the big cities, but I think the dialogue that we have in the communities that we want um, in different states around America is the most important for me and the most rewarding afterwards in the Q&A, as you mentioned. We're watching a trailer, um, we're watching the trailer from your movie right now. Some star power. Yeah, huge star power. <laughs> I mean, and when you see it all come together, this is all of your hard work. Um, Tinga, when you see that you can get such big names um, included in this festival, it's obviously a great get for you, but you want to showcase everyone. I mean, you have everything from three minute shorts to 100 minute features. Why is that important to be so inclusive? I think because Houston's just such a diverse community, we have about almost 1 million APIs in our community. I think we want to reach out to everyone, give everyone a little bit of taste of what our community has to say as a whole together, not just particularly one. We have different themed festival, themed days, like for instance, uh, we're showcasing a lot of Korean films uh, tonight. Mm -hmm. Next uh, next week we have uh, Richard Louie uh, talking about mental health, mm -hmm. and then we also have Nabuko uh, Miyamoto, uh, doc her new documentary is out, and we, she will doing a performance at our closing night as well. Wow. And it seems like film is such a great vehicle for bridging the divide between mm -hmm. different communities, and I feel like the just pure storytelling is such a great way for all of us to understand that we're more alike than we are different. Circling back to your film, A Great Divide, mm -hmm. it, it talks about a Korean-American family who leaves the San Francisco Bay Area. Right. They move to small town Wyoming after devastating loss. I mean, loss moving, change, these are all themes that everyone can understand. No, absolutely, and I always feel like there's the power of filmmaking and narrative storytelling, really for me, especially in a time right now where I feel like there needs to be more empathy in our country, and I think that's what stories do and films do, that if you kind of get in the shoes of a story of some character and kind of understand there's much more empathy, and that's what I found in a lot of these festivals I've gone to, that a lot of them like, oh, I didn't know that happened, oh my goodness, I want to tell my mom, my brother, and these are, Americans that were like never really knew any of the America uh, the Asian American kind of story and what we went through in immigrating here it really is all about learning and Houston mm -hmm. I mean like you mentioned it is our, our Asian community is so is so strong it's so amazing it we it's such an integrated part it's an important part of Houston mm -hmm. um, so new this year you're celebrating 20 years you're also recognizing all the past festival directors throughout the festival and you're doing like a retrospective block on on films you want to talk about that sure um, um, the festival would not be here today without all of the help of our past directors, especially the first year. Uh, they tell me that the first year they really screened just six films in a small little hotel room. Wow. And now the, there's a lot more demand. We have submissions and we have curated films and we have directors come. And that's part of the big part of the festival, how we can connect with festival, I mean, the directors and also grow the community um, as far as, yeah. 
Yeah, that's wonderful. And we should point out that this is uh, most screenings are happening at the Doubletree Hilton. Ticket yeah. prices do vary. Uh, last night was the big kickoff. This runs officially through June 14th. In person screenings end on the 9th. Uh, before we let you both go, uh, Jean, one more question for you. Sure. The filmmaking community in Houston, it, it was a big surprise to me to find out just how many filmmakers we have mm. right here in town. Mm -hmm. And I know another thing, you know, when you are traveling these festivals, you're also meeting filmmakers yes. from all over the place. Yes. Film is a labor of love, yes. right? It is not a glamorous <laughs> career path. Advice Absolutely. for anyone out there who, who looks at you as a role model. Oh my goodness, that's okay. I could go on for an hour about this. Um, <laughs> it is hard. You have to love it because it's really, uh, yeah, but I will say that um, support each other. The indie film market, we still have, a, a, I mean, it's the most, it's like a family and we really do help each other. Reach out to each other. We do, um, and, we, and we can't, and more and more now, as you say, you can make phones on your phone. I mean, really. Yeah. Yeah. You can edit and make phones and a story. The really thing is about the story and telling your story. And it can be made and people want to see it. And there's more ways of distribution. So I say go for it. It is tough, but I say that it's worth it. Love it. Okay. You got to love it. Got to love it. Jean Shin, <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks for stopping by Houston Life. And reminder, Happy Fest did kick off last night. You can still catch the rest of the festival in person now through June 9th. You can also access the films virtually through June 14th. You can visit our website, HoustonLife.tv, for a link to that full lineup.